Loyalist is going today. Loyalist Kingdom Hearts Dwayne. My name's Jazz. We're Dwayne and Jazz, and no reactions today. Something insane happened today. Something <laughs> crazy. Okay, so as a disclosure, like to give you some background, so we're having a house build like mm -hmm. from the ground up uh, as we speak. So that's why for one, we're posting way less videos. Mm. And two, uh, that's why we answer calls that we aren't, we aren't familiar with. Because exactly. we don't know who could be calling. We don't know what company it is, what contractor, who, what wiring people or right. whatever. So we just answer the phone. So we were playing Fortnite, Dwayne was streaming mm -hmm. on his channel. Mm -hmm. And I got a call and I got a missed call. So I just kind of like looked it over. And then like, as soon as the match finished, I went to go and look at my phone for like the little voicemail. And with the iPhone, it transcripts it so you could read it. And then it says something about like the IRS and like you have four allegations against you. And if you don't call back, it's our last warning. If you don't call back, then uh, they're gonna take you into legal custody and you could be arrested. And I said, ho, ho. And so that's when I called back, right? So I called back and then they said, hello. And they, I was like, I just got a missed call from you guys. And he said, is this from the IRS? He said, did you get a, he said, did you get a missed call from the IRS? And I said, yes. And then he said, what is your name? And I just said, Jasmine. And then I didn't say my last name. And then he said, oh yes, I see. Yeah, we called you and he said, there was four allegations of something from taxes from 2013 to 2016. And I'm like, huh, what? So like, I'm writing down everything that he's saying mm -hmm. and like getting his name and whatever number that he gave me to authorize it and how much money it was and how much money I had to pay back. He said I had to pay back like $3,000. Yeah, back. so you write it down. Jasmine's writing everything I was down. writing down everything. Stressed. I was writing down Stress. everything. Cause like, I really, cause I don't know, you could get in trouble with taxes. Right. And like, especially working for YouTube, you sure can. Yeah. But uh, that's when I was just like, okay. But then like, I started asking him questions cause I like to get information. And so like Dwayne, he came in and then he was like, what's happening? And I said, and I explained what was happening. And I'm like, yeah, like they're saying that like, they, something happened from 2013, 2016. And they're, they're saying that I could like, you know, face legal action. And he was like, don't tell them anything. He was like, don't tell him shit. Don't tell him <laughs> That's nothing. basically what I don't said. Don't tell him nothing. He was yelling and I'm trying to, I was like, hold on, hold on. Cause I was trying to hear what the dude was saying. Cause like usually like I could find cue, like clue words to tell me that this is a red flag. Mm -hmm. And so then the dude was like, uh, he said, do you have the money on you right now? And that's red flag one. And I said, why would I need it right now? And then like I asked him a question, I said, can I ask you a question? And then mm -hmm. he said, yeah, go ahead. I said, if it happened in 2013 and 2016, why are you calling me now? in 2018 right and then he was he gave some kind of bs excuse and then he was like if you have it on file he said either you're gonna do this right now or uh in 15 to 20 minutes they're gonna come and freeze your bank account and you can't they're gonna uh cancel your license out and all this I'll other stuff. stuff and i'm just like huh and so then he said that he needed my driver's license number like my name my address my mm -hmm. number on it and everything mm -hmm. when it expires and all of that stuff and i'm like if you are the, the irs, IRS you first of all this. you would already know this mm -hmm. two irs don't call mm -hmm. so that's when i was like hold on and i went to my computer typed in the number that they were speaking on and mm -hmm. they were trying to rush me too they was trying mm -hmm. to rush me I'm trying to get that typed money in the yeah, number. Like you got one coach yeah and i saw that it said like it was a scam number and stuff like that and i said oh, okay and then i hung up the phone as soon as i hung up it showed like six missed calls like from the same it said it didn't come as the same number it came as a, a private number mm -hmm. and it said like unknown caller and then like i didn't answer and then they called again mm -hmm. didn't answer called again didn't answer and then Dwayne was like oh i'm gonna record this and so then he started recording and then it was like a 202 number which is like a dc number right so he was like go ahead and answer that one and so i answered it y'all gonna see it in the clip after right this. Now, yeah after this um, and can I just ask who this is uh, calling again? Yes, because when I search, hello? Yes, I was. Yes. Say you called IRS just now. What happened? Are you ready? Um, I just called the IRS now, and it seems that everything is in good standing. No. Who told you that? The IRS. Really? Yes. <laughs> and she had a conversation with her mom. 
Yeah, found I called out. my mom yeah. right after that conversation and then found out she had the same exact call earlier today, like four hours they before the whole family. us. So they yeah. basically, they just went through the whole list. <laughs> How many times do they call you? Um, they must have called, like, um, first of all, I never answer the phone, so I'm not a good person. They like to pursue anyway. <laughs> um, right. So they just leave voicemails. So maybe I had, like, maybe, I don't know, maybe, like, twice a year I get the same kind of voicemail. And the crazy thing is that these people, these scammers that are out there trying to get your information, they have, like, basic, like, like public information like mm -hmm. they know like they knew my whole name they knew my whole first middle and last name and uh they knew where i lived at mm -hmm. they knew that too it was like they had all that information but they just wanted they want to get more so they could like scam you get your bank account number get your social security get your driver's license get all of that to try to just basically ruin your life so just be careful y'all i got careful. them because i was like when you, when you hear when you hear certain you things the, yeah you, you gotta listen. That's why I said I gotta listen to what he's saying. I said, when, when I, said, I said, we're going to court. Yeah, he do everything to have it. He said, we're going to court for this. I don't care. Right. Uh, and I was just like, no, no, no. I want to listen to I what like, he's saying. I was like, don't tell him anything. I want I want to mm -hmm. go to court. I'm like, this don't. Because I felt like it didn't sound right. It did I'm like, not sound, sound right. Because right. I'm like, where is this coming from? And they said like, they want to what from what? I said, no, no, no. Yeah. They want your bank account information? No, but the thing was, he said, do you have the cash on you? to take it out today or whatever. And I'm like, huh? That's why it was a red flag. I'm like, if you're the IRS, you would already have that. Yeah, he's like, well, you would already you, see that I did do you want the, Do you have the cash on you today? That's exactly right. how it sounded. And I was right. like. And I'm just like, just be careful, y'all. Just mm -hmm. be careful. So if y'all get a call like that, don't answer it. Well, if you do answer it, you're gonna hear them. Don't answer it. If they're asking for the information over the phone, don't give it to they, them. No, if it's the government, they're asking for your driver's license, social security, all that stuff. Do not, that's do a not give it to them. If they ask you for your credit card, don't give it to them. Nope. Don't give them no personal information, okay? The government it looks like they're doing their rounds. They my are mom, doing their rounds, yeah. My mom I got, a, I got a call from the, the, the Omaha, Nebraska. Yeah, nah. right after that, he yeah, got a Nebraska so, call. So it's like, uh, they, it's crazy. It's, they out it's, here it's, They trying to, yep. <laughs> They so, try and get you, especially after tax season. So be careful, please, yeah. loyalists. Be very careful. Be very. I careful. hope you enjoyed the story time <laughs> with Dwayne Jazz. But reactions will be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We got you. And, and uh, uh, yeah, peace. This is.